5G is really about commercialization now because we have commercial networks in North America, we are rolling out in Europe and in Australia and in Asia. And I think 5G done right is really about that. It's about switching on 5G. So if you have an Ericsson 5G ready infrastructure, which is a 4G infrastructure that we have already today, and if you have an upgradable core network, it is really about that. Getting access to the new spectrum, the new 5G spectrum, 3.5 gigahertz or the millimeter wave, 28 gigahertz, and then just switch on 5G. People talk so much about, about speed, latency, and capacity, and so on, but there is more to it. And I really believe this is critical, of course, there's no question. I don't think we see any operators that are looking at 5G without thinking about that speed and so on. I'd say for some of the operators, the, the view about, um, about slicing is still sometimes new. The fact that you can really start delivering more applications, more specific, I mean, the use cases are still like popping. There's still a lot of new things coming up day in and day out. I still believe this is probably one of the, the big things that's going to have an impact is, is how these slices change the dynamics. Some slices will change the game from being one operator only to multi-operator, there will be m massive amount of transformations in the industry, I would say, overall. Would you agree? Yeah, no, I absolutely agree with that. And it's, it's a great technology to do the separation of, of uh, resources. It's a absolutely. great technology also to uh, fulfill an SLA that in, in today's system may not be possible, but with this network slicing implemented end-to-end, -end, we can actually start to get some of these high-performance yep. applications onto this. But, but I think it is still true that we can do so much in terms of building on, on the, as I said, the combined infrastructure 4D today, the 5D in the future. So there's no need to wait. I think this is a time when we want to open up the network platform, making sure that these applications can be tested, both for interoperability as well as performance on a network platform. And that's where we at Ericsson take uh, test platforms, uh, make them available to startups, make yep. them available to communities, so that they can actually start to, to build their applications on top of that. And we do that across the world. I think uh, 5G really starts now, and uh, that means that uh, to do 5G right is also to capitalize on the new opportunities that we see around us. That's why this balance, and I think new uh, focus on the, on the enterprise side, on the industries, that is really what's going to drive also the next generation of 5G. And there I can see new deployment scenarios, which would uh, be required to get really, really high performance uh, local connectivity and network platforms all the way to, of course, uh, the, the upgrade to even higher bandwidth on the wide area system. Yeah. We've seen operators start with, in advance of 5G, we've been involved with many operators, yeah. assuring that the infrastructure is built right, going back on their fiber plant, adding, adding basically the transport layer, the feed and everything, and making sure that we, they can build that, I would say, good design, good planning, and also a bit of a long-term vision, I think is also a big advisor.